Welcome to video from digitallifestyle.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix an issue with the Korg USB drivers running on the uh, Windows 10 running on the Windows 10 May 2019 update. So I'm using the Korg MIDI driver uninstall tool to show you the, the problem. So if you've got a Korg keyboard like a Milog or um, one of the controller keyboards and then after installing the May update you notice they don't work with MIDI anymore this is due to a a bug really in the in the Korg driver where here you can see my two Korg devices and you notice they're on channel 13 and 14 well that is no good for the Korg driver they need to be on channel 1 to now 0 to 9 for it to show up in your door or in your in your control applications so them being there like that is no good so how do we fix it well this the, there is a registry um, a couple of registry keys which I want to show you now. The other option is completely remove all the Korg drivers and use the default drivers but that doesn't work um, that doesn't give you all the features so it's better if you can use the Korg drivers. So let's have a look at how we fix that. You've got to go up into RegEdit which I've got open here and the first step is to go to the um, HK Local Machine System Current Control Set. So let me go back to the start on here. So HK Local Machine, and then we want System Let's open that. Current Control Set Control, which we're there, and then Class, which is here. Now there's loads of entries on here, and what you're looking for on here is Korg or you can use search for the driver name so I found my first one there so number 21 and you're looking for one that's got these two keys description and driver and you need to add one um, an alias called alias so you can do a new and you want a new string value and that should be alias and then the value in here for your first MIDI port should be MIDI 1 okay that's that one done so now if I repeat that search so I go uh, press F3 on my keyboard to repeat that search here's my other Korg MIDI device well, this is my second one so I want to add alias again and call this MIDI 2. I've only got two. If you had a third one, you could press F3 and search the third one. Okay, that's that bit done. Now there's another registry setting that you need to alter, which is um, HK Local Machine Software Microsoft. So let's go back up the registry key, close that. So we go to Software, Microsoft, Windows NT. which is there and then I want current version which is there this is because these are expanded already because I've been in them before and then to drivers 32 there we go and now you add um, string values that match those that you've just completely you just completed so I'm going to add a string value called MIDI 1 Actually, I'm going to do it lower case because that's what I did before. So match, make sure these match. And I want one called MIDI 2 because I did 2, didn't I? So MIDI 2. And now in that there, you put the driver name. So that's the driver name that I copied before. And in there, I can put that on there. Okay, so that's it. That's complete. That's actually done all the bits that I needed to do. Now if I go to Korg driver, I'm not sure I have to reload this. Let's have a look. Let me reload So here's this Korg driver up there. So you can see here I've gone for two and three instead of one and two. The reason for that is even though this machine has already been happily using one and two and um, I deleted all the settings so I could show you on this video, it still wouldn't take number one because it somehow has got revert, re reserved. So what I did is 
you can see on that one I changed there and then if I go back to my two Korg devices you can see there there's three and there is number two so you can have the same thing of course if you've got three or four Korg devices then that just follow on sequentially the next one will be um, so I've got two there three the next one will be four five and so on so now you can see on here now they're all up and running and um, that's ready to go so I haven't got any mystery ones further down and that will work fine with my door and uh, the cog uh, uh, radius editor and so on so that's it so two steps really you've got to create these in the uh, in this registry setting here you've got the two devices where you add in the alias for your MIDI 2 and 3 in my case and then you've got that drivers one where you add in the values that you've just created so there's my 2 and 3 I've got a text-based article on this as well on the digitalized.com, so check out that if you want some assistance. Thanks for watching.